Hello everybody, Mr. Lego 55 here. Today we are doing another Bionicle Talk video. Today we are going to take a look at another episode from the online animations on Bionicle.com. Today we'll be going over episode 8, The Lord of Skull Spiders. And as there, as you might notice, there are only a few episodes left, or actually only two, until we are done with the episodes of Wave 1, because there will definitely be more um, Wave 2 episodes later on, because there's a trailer for it, and I will be going over the trailer as well. I went over the first trailer there was, and I'm going to go over the second trailer. So, anyways, we're going over episode 8, The Lord of Skull Spiders, and in this, um, in this, oops, in this episode, we are going to see The Lord of Skull Spiders, as you can tell, and this is actually going to be the only episode we see The Lord of Skull Spiders, so we can assume that he's not a very good villain, but let's not jump to conclusions just yet, let's go ahead and watch the video. And if you don't notice, I'm not using a microphone right now, or a headset, or anything. Um, currently I'm using a computer or a laptop. I'm actually using a Windows Surface computer at the time. So, and unfortunately, I cannot plug in my headset to... There is no place to plug in my um, headset to, the, to, the, to this laptop. So, that is why I'm just recording off of the default microphone built into the Windows. So in this video, you will actually hear the episode. So you will um hear what's going on on here. So let's go ahead and start it. So as you can see here, Lego Bionicle logo and background with a bunch of cracks. So let's move on and play this. So as you can see, so as you can see, the heroes were getting ready for battle, and we've got the Lord of Skull Spiders there. And that was the Lord of Skull Spiders there, so this is going to be the yeah first episode we see him. So um, as you can see in the last um episode of Bi of the um of the um, online animations from Bionicle, we saw that the Toa, uh, the Toa were teaming up for the first time, or seeing each other for the first time, and teaming up. And when we left off with them, they were about to encounter the Lord of Skull Spiders at the entrance to the gate to the gateway at the entrance of the ancient city of the Mask Makers. So there are actually only two episodes left: this one and the next one. I'll be going over it, but let's go ahead and move on. Spiders, we can't outrun him. Don't worry, I can freeze this bug on my own. And as you can see, um, Kopaka has a lot of similarities already from his old version. He likes to do stuff alone. You can already tell now. So that's another thing, a little bit of similarity from the old version of Kopaka, so yeah. <laughs> You're too slow, Kopaka. And there goes Liwa off to try to defeat the Lord of Skull Spiders. Faster than Kopaka, but unfortunately he does not because Golly wants to defeat her too, or uh, pretty much everyone does, but they all fail. Except for Anua, since he's wise, since Anua, Master of Earth, is wise, he doesn't charge straight in what kind of does, but he just doesn't get really a chance to go after the Lord of Skull Spiders yet, but the only one making it to the Lord of Skull Spiders is, well, of course, Tahu. But he gets beat up badly. Well, not beat up badly, he just gets knocked out of the way. And then Anua picks, has to carry him like a baby. And there you saw Bohatu got knocked in the face with a web. And something I have noticed in the animation, and I'm sure many people have already noticed, is that the Lord of Skull Spiders is much bigger than he really is in the set. Because the Lord of Skull Spiders the set, the actual set, is much smaller than how it is right now. In the animation, he appears to be taller than Tahu. Even though in the sets, he is smaller than Tahu. So yeah, I just wanted to bring that up. Make way for the master of fire. And as you can see, Tahu is trying to go up to him and fight him, and you can now see that he's much bigger than Tahu. 
I'm not sure why LEGO did this, I'm not sure why LEGO couldn't just make the set a little bit bigger, but oh well, what can you do? It still turned out to be a good set, and it turned out to be, I'd say it turned out to be pretty well in the actual um, animation, so let's continue. And here you can see he got knocked back badly. And he got picked up by Anua. And now Anua's gonna say, like, they need to work together. And now they're gonna, like, um, now they're gonna get serious and actually work together, formulate a plan or whatever. Not really a plan, but actually defeat them, not on their own, but all together. So, um, they've all got their weapons ready or powered or whatever. The heroes stood side by side. As you can see here. And then and they're about to attack the Lord of Skull Spiders, as you can see here. So, this, so in the first part, when they first tried to attack them, they failed miserably. But now, they are going to defeat him like a boss. As you can see here. And this is the part where I kind of feel a little bit bad for the Lord of Skull Spiders here, because what's about to happen right now is Anua's about to punch down the ground, with, or just hammer down on the ground with his gigantic hammer, and make the Lord of Sk Skull Spiders go bye-bye down into the depths of who knows where. Probably gonna get crushed. But, as you can see here, there is something I have noticed, and you probably have noticed it throughout the whole video. There's a little stand that I think a mask should have been here. So I do have a couple of theories about what this, what mask could possibly have been here. I have a few assumptions. So either it could have been one of the three great masks, the mask of creation, the mask of control, or the mask of ultimate power. There is another one I'm thinking of, and that is the Golden Skull Spider Mask, which the Lord of Skull Spiders uses to control his army of skull spiders. And I think that's most reasonable, because I feel like this is his like, hideout or whatever, and I would think it would be reasonable to put it here, but it's not there. So that kind of leads me off to one of the other three masks. So either it could have been the Mask of Creation and it was stolen, could have been one of the other other two masks and it was stolen. So those are my assumptions on what could have been here. But I really think it was the Lord of Skull Spiders, um, Golden Skull Spider Mask. But I'm not sure what happened to it. Either he had it or lost it or something, or it, like, blew up or something when the Skull Spider army was defeated, or whatever. I'm not sure. Nobody will know what's there. But, yeah. So, anyway, let's go ahead and continue on with the episode. And as you can see, bye bye, Lord of Skull Spiders. And now the Toa are all happy about that, and I'm sure the Lord of Skull Spiders is not. And this is actually where we're gonna we leave it. off until the next, um, My Uncle Tom video, of course. So, anyways, they're all here now. They defeated their first villain, but that does not mean it's the end of the Wave 1 episodes. There is gonna be one more episode until that is the end. So, yep. So, let's just go ahead and finish off the video now, and I'll let you watch. And, that's the end of the video, and if you don't know, I am currently, um, watching this on Bionicle.com. All the episodes are available, as along with, uh, the two, the new trailer and everything. So, I recommend you go watch that and stuff. But, I will be reviewing the trailer in the last episode, which is episode 9, The City of the Mask Makers. That was the last episode I will be taking a look at before Wave 2 episodes start coming out. So, anyways, I just want to let you guys know for first, I do not own any of this content on LEGO.com. It is on LEGO.com, not mine. I'd leave that in the description and stuff. So, if you want to watch this for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description to the page. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and keep building!